Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I'm going to explain to you guys what the term resolution means in the context of your computer monitor and web design. So the term resolution, uh, to understand this term, you need to know what pixels are. So if you don't know what a pixel is, make sure you check out my previous tutorial on pixels. So this is, let's say this rectangle represents your computer monitor. So this is your monitor. Now, how big is your monitor? Well, it's got the physical dimensions. So physical dimensions. And let's say um, the monitor is, I don't know, 100 uh, centimeters, uh, e.g. 100 centimeters wide and then let's say 60 centimeters high okay something like that so the width of the monitor this is the width of the monitor and this is the height of the monitor how wide it is and how high it is now all resolution is is saying that instead of measuring the width and the height in centimeters okay instead of measuring it in centimeters with a ruler instead of doing that we're going to measure it in pixels okay we're going to measure it in pixels and every monitor, monitor is going to have a different resolution depending on how good the monitor is all right the resolution is saying if we draw pixels in a straight line horizontally across the screen, how many pixels can we fit? And then same thing vertically, how many pixels can we fit in a straight line vertically? So if you have a look at your own monitor by going to your desktop, okay, you right click on your desktop, go to screen resolution, and you can see that my monitor currently can fit 1366 pixels horizontally and 768 pixels vertically so I can fit so my monitor resolution okay my resolution is 1366 pixels horizontally times by 768 pixels vertically so the resolution is stated uh, by using the width multiplied by the height. Okay, so that's what the term resolution means. So why is this important in web design? Well, when you are um, designing your web page, you need to make sure that you uh, account for people with different resolution okay so what different types of resolution are there well if you have a look at this web page from Wikipedia okay so the address is um, underneath uh, the display resolution Wikipedia page and you can see that this table says that these are the most common display resolutions on the World Wide Web okay uh, so if you look at my monitor which was 1366 by 768 there are currently 26.64 percent of the World Wide Web uses that resolution which is which also has an acronym called high definition HD so every different types every different type of resolution has a different acronym so if someone says their projector for example is SVGA it means that their projector can project 800 pixels horizontally and 600 pixels vertically right so my monitor can fit 1366 pixels horizontally 768 pixels vertically and that's high definition and if you have a really good really big monitor or TV it might be a full HD which is uh, 1920 pixels wide and 1080 pixels high 
okay and currently you might think oh full HD everyone has that nowadays but if you have a look at this um, table uh, in the first half of 2014 only 8.64% of people browsing the World Wide Web has that resolution so when you are uh, designing your website you need to make sure that you're not just designing it for people with full HD okay you need to account for all the other different resolutions okay so we're gonna talk about how to do that in the next few tutorials okay thanks for watching guys see you next time